The Diary of Samuel Pepys, 17th of March, 1660. This morning bade adieu to in bed to the company of my wife. We rose and I gave my wife some money to serve her for a time and what papers of consequence I had. Then I left her to get her ready and went to my lord's with my boy, Eliza, to my lord's lodging at Mr. Crewe's. Here I had much business with my lord and papers, great store given me by my lord to dispose of as of the rest. After that, with Mr. Moore, home to my house, and took my wife by coach to the Chequer in Holborn, where, after we had drank, she took coach and so farewell. I stayed behind with Tom Alcock and Mr. Anderson, my old chamber fellow at Cambridge, his brother, and drank with them there, who were come to me thither about one that would have a place at sea. Thence with Mr. Hawley to dinner at Mr. Crewe's, after dinner to my own house, where all things were put up into the dining room and locked up, and my wife took the keys along with her. This day, in the presence of Mr. Moore, who made it, and Mr. Hawley, I did, before I went out with my wife, seal my will to her, whereby I did give her all that I have in the world but my books, which I gave to my brother John, excepting only the French books, which my wife is to have. In the, evening, in the evening at the Admiralty, I met my lord there and got a commission for Williamson to be captain of the Harp Frigate, and afterwards went by coach taking Mr Cripps with me to my lord and got him to sign it at table as he was at supper. And so to Westminster back again with him, with me, who had a great desire to go to sea, and my lord told me that he would do him any favour. So I went home with him to his mother's house, by me in Axyard, where I found Dr. Claudius's wife, and sat there talking and hearing of old Mrs. Chris playing of her old lessons upon the harpsichord till it was time to go to bed. And after that to bed, and Lord, her son, lay with me in the best chamber in her house, which indeed was finely furnished.